Hello everyone and welcome to Psyche Truth. Sanella here. Today I have an awesome flow for you guys. It's sun salutation. It's for mornings or anytime you feel like you need just to move the body and create more energy and release the tension throughout your entire body. Well, this flow is for you. So today we're going to sit nice and comfortable posture here. Shoulders are going to be relaxed. Heart is lifted. Close your eyes and just bring all your attention to your breath. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose here. And then exhale gently through your mouth. Inhale deep here. Exhale. One more time, deep inhale, rising both hands all the way up. And then exhale, gently moving to that side stretch here. You can open your eyes here or you can simply just keep your eyes closed and just being connected with your own energy here. And taking those deep inhale through your nose and then exhaling gently through your mouth. And just preparing your body here just for you starting your day and feeling good and just being mobile and just being here and now. Take one more deep inhale, exhale, coming back to center, both hands all the way up, and then from here we're going to move into that seated spinal twist here, so gently twist into your right here, looking over that right shoulder, keeping your spine nice and long, take a deep breath into it, and gently exhale. One more time. Inhale deep. Exhale. Slowly coming back to center. Both hands up. And let's switch to your left here. Same thing here. Nice long spine. Shoulders are relaxed here. Taking a deep inhale to your nose. Exhale. One more time. Deep inhale here. Exhale, coming back to center, both hands up, shoulders relaxed, both hands down, nice, take a deep breath here one more time through your nose, exhale, very nice, now let's go ahead and move into that flow. Now remember, you got to bring your attention anytime the wander, mind wants to wander around. Bring that attention to your breath here and just being here and connected with your body. And just moving with this flow. Take it a nice deep inhale one more time. Exhale. Tuck your toes in, gently moving into that downward facing dog here. Keeping a nice bend in your knees, nice long spine. Relax your head. Maybe say yes as you're taking a nice deep breath. Maybe say no. What we are doing here, we're just releasing some tension in your neck here. Nice. And then gently straighten left leg, keeping your right knee bented. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale. Switch sides. We're just activating the back body here. One more time. Deep inhale. Exhale. Both knees bented here. Gently look at your hands and start walking. Forward fold here. In front of your mat, gently keep that knees 90 degree bent here, relaxing your head down and then take a deep breath, moving into that flat back, push your shoulders back here, nice long spine, tuck your chin in here and gently forward fold. Let's move into that Ukatasana chair pose right here, even if you're just standing right there, that's good enough. Right there. Take a nice deep breath. And gently forward fold. Reverse swan dive all the way up into mountain pose. 
Moving into that little bag bent here. Heart is lifted, palms together, bring it to your heart. And then again, gently forward fold here. Good. Now from here, you're gonna bend your knees, plant your hands down, and then your right leg is gonna go back, placing your right knee down. A nice long body is right here, and then gently rising both hands all the way up. Bringing those hips forward and down, shoulders are relaxed, heart is lifted. Take a deep breath here. Gently coming back to center, tuck your toes in, lift your right leg and come forward. And then from here, we're gonna gently move that left leg back, placing your left knee down, standing your toes, nice long body, and gently rising both hands all the way up. As you bring those hips forward and down, so you can feel a nice stretch in that hip flexor muscle in your psoas, releasing the tension from there and just bringing the mobility in the hips and moving the energy throughout your body here. And gently come back to center, tuck your toe in, lift your foot and coming back forward, fold here. Plant your hands, walk back into high plank, plant your knees down and gently coming all the way down. Gently extend your toes, lifting into that baby cobra here. Now remember in your baby cobra, we want to keep that heart lifted. As we relax the shoulders down, <sighs> gently coming back to center. And then coming all the way up into downward facing dog. Nice. We're bending your knees here deep, nice long spine, moving your head saying yes or no. Yes, releasing the tension here. Take a deep breath. Straighten your legs here. And then look at your hands and gently start walking in front of your mat again here. Feeling the sun, feeling in the heat in your body, feeling that energy moving through your body. Take a deep breath. Flat back, push your shoulders back, heart is lifted here, gently forward fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips down, moving into that chair right here. Again, nice long spine, shoulders are relaxed. Nice breath and gently forward fold. Plant your hands and move that right leg back, placing your knee down. Extend your toes gently, rising both hands up, moving forward and down. You're gonna feel a nice stretch here, nice pull from that hip flex. So try to breathe here and relax and don't hold that tension. Let it all go out through your breath here. <sighs> gently coming back to center, tuck your toes, lift your foot, walk forward, switch sides here. And gently placing it back down, coming up. And just being patient here with yourself. Once you get familiar with the flow, then you will find that own rhythm, your own pace and go with that. And just taking time here for 10, 15, 20 minutes a day to really just take care of yourself mentally, physically, and just being more grounded with yourself and centered. This flow will definitely help you put put you in that state of uh, mind and state of energy and and things like that <sighs> gently coming back to center <sighs> forward fold keeping your bent nicely bent in your knees here as you're dropping your upper body down <sighs> coming into that flat back forward fold <sighs> plant your hands it's coming to that high plank here placing your knees nice and gently here. You should feel a nice like little sweat going on for me right now. You should be definitely feeling it a little bit too as well, if you're doing it with me, of course. <laughs> All right, gently coming up. Baby Cobra here. <sighs> Center. All right. Moving into that downward facing dog. Nice deep bent in your knees here, long spine, yes or no, moving your head. And then straighten your legs here. 
bend the knees here and start walking in front of your mat here right forward fold and again remember going your own pace here gently inhale flat back exhale forward fold bend your knees drop your hips look at tasana again here this is uh this used to be a very challenging posture for me because I was so confused. I didn't know if I was gonna fall forward, what I was supposed to do. But uh, it has to do a lot with it. Also your hip flexors, how tight they are. And uh, this definitely will help to release that tension from your hip flexors. I know we are holding a little bit longer here, but hang in there, you can do it. And gently forward fold, you feeling that little burn. Reverse one, dive all the way up. Leaning back, heart is lifted. Open your heart here. Palms together, bring it to the center of your heart. Gently forward fold. And just moving here with your own breath. Moving that right leg back, placing your right knee down. Extend your toes, lifting into that kneeling lunge here. Again, each time you're gonna feel a little more opening in those hips. So allow yourself to just really let it go, breathe through it, and uh, maybe close your eyes here just for a second and just notice your energy here, notice your breath. Yes, feels good, doesn't it? Gently coming back out, walk forward, switch legs here. lean back also keeping that heart lifted here it's gonna allow to stretch this entire front body here again close your eyes take a deep breath really feel your breath here yes coming back to center Duck. walk forward yes. forward fold flat back forward fold reverse swan dive and remember this flow is pretty much for any level you guys just taking your time here and just doing the best you can but just do it plant your hands and come into that high plank again placing your knees coming down into the vinyasa here gently lifting now we're gonna go a little bit further now it's time to step up the game a little bit in this practice so lifting all the way into that full cobra nice relaxed shoulders long spine heart is lifted here take a nice deep inhale exhale all right now we're gonna gently come back down and again remember go in your own pace here all right Coming up, downward facing dog. Dive deep, bent in the knees. Straighten your legs. Gently look at your hands. Start walking towards your hands. Forward fold here. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Look at us in a chair pose here. Gently forward fold. Reverse one dive, moving with your breath here. Lean back, palms together, bring it to your heart, forward fold. Plant your hands, right leg back, extend your toes, placing your knee down, lifting up. Coming back to center. And just silent in your mind and your thoughts here just for a second here just to really notice your own energy here flat back forward fold reverse swan dive palms together bring it to your heart forward fold plant your hands walk into high plank gently coming back down into your vinyasa cobra Down 
Your dog. Walking towards your hands. Forward fold. Flat back. Forward fold. Katasana chair pose. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive all the way up. Gently forward fold. Right leg back. Extended crescent lunge here. Coming back to center, switching sides. Smile a little bit. Gently coming back to center. Forward fold. Flat back. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive. Lean back. Gently forward fold. Plant your hands, walk back into that high plank. Now from here, we're gonna lay all the way back down. We're gonna open our hands into letter T here. We're gonna stretch now the spine a little bit, relax the muscles and release the tension from there. So go ahead, lift that left leg up and then twist here. Take a nice deep breath. Gently coming back to center. Lifting that right leg and flip it over here. Oh yeah, I can feel that nice crack in my back here. Felt really good. Don't get scared if you feel that. It means ah, releasing tension and coming back to where it's supposed to be. Ah, gently coming back to center here. Now from here. We're gonna go ahead and whew, feel so good to be outside, you guys. I feel this beautiful breeze and the sun is shining down. I just feel so like I can just stay right here and just talk to you and uh, be in this moment. <laughs> We're almost done, We're not there yet. Let's open those hands into letter T and then we're gonna move into that lying down spinal twist now this way. And gently maybe grab it with your other hand and pull your knee down a little bit deeper into that stretch here. Take a nice deep breath. And you have to be honest with yourself. And if you truly want to see the difference in your body, increase your um, your flexibility, get better in your yoga practice, just stay consistent with your practice. Like I said, these videos are like 50 to 20 minutes long. You know what, I think we all owe ourselves to take this time and just take care of ourselves, stretch out the body, take care of the body. <sighs> take a deep breath one more time. And gently coming back to center. Woo. All right. And then I invite you here to just lay down flat on your back and have your palms facing the ceiling if you're in a house, if you're outside facing the sky. Close your eyes. Take two deep inhale through your nose and really taking a breath all the way into belly. Pause for a second and gently exhale. Deep inhale here. Gently exhale. And then from here, I want you to just silence your thoughts and scan your body. Listen to your heart here. Feel your energy. Notice how you're feeling. And we're just gonna get quiet here for just a minute. Keeping your eyes closed. If you find yourself 
wandering off with your thought process. Bring your attention to your breath by taking a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale. And from here, start to wiggle your toes, your hands. If you like to stay a little bit longer in this posture, please do take your time. And if you're ready to come back, go ahead and gently lie, that, lie on your left side of your body here, like a little child. When you're ready, keeping your eyes closed here, placing your left palm or your right hand down to your mat and gently lifting yourself up into seated posture here. Coming into that easy, comfortable seated posture. Keeping your eyes closed here. Rising both hands all the way up. Gently placing your palms together and bring it to the center of your heart. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this flow, taking care of yourself, doing something amazing for our body, our mind, and our spirit. Take a deep breath one more time. Exhale. Maybe smile a little bit here. Open your eyes. Whew. Good job and namaste. There it is, guys. And remember to make sure to favor this video. Do this video about three to four times a week to really see the difference in your body and your practice. Stay consistent with it. Subscribe to Psyche Truth. Share this video. And also, if you guys want to take up a, a challenge that I'm offering right now for free, go to powerhourbooty.com for more information. Until next time, thank you again and namaste.